interesting. I was interviewing a group of actors the other day with also the same, not even same, but close to uh, same theme, no? About youth, about mga kids. Uh, I don't know how you will answer this, Dan, Jumbo, and Dom, especially you, Dom, no? Parang itong pelikulang bato, somehow tuturuan din yung generation nyo on how to be strong in the middle of all the challenges. I think true to its core, hindi mo dapat tinuturuan yung mga bata. So, kung ano ah. man yung mga bata. Kasi diba, we, we have like our own, we do our own thing and we find ourselves uh, on our own dapat. Kasi pag idikta mo, parang magre-rebelde. So, dapat... So, that's the generation yeah. today? So hindi naman general, but... Kung ano man yung makuha ni... <laughs> so, kung ano man yung makuha nila sa pelikula, sa kanila la yun, di ba? Nanggaling to sa amin. Pero kung ano yung magiging epekto nito sa buhay nila, well, I it's up to you. I think that will be the conversation. Feeling ko yun ang magiging conversation ng pelikula uh, after this. No, I'm excited! Oh my God! Okay, next, let's go to Jake Ejercito. The question is from Freebie Manila. Jim P. From Jim P. How is it working with Miss Dolly? I think I asked this kanina. And Catherine Bernardo, ano reaction mo when you found out that you'll be part of the film? Actually, what's funny is when uh, my manager texted me, Jake, my inquiry. Inquiry pa lang, ah. Okay. My inquiry ang Star Cinema. Uh, very good girl with Miss Dolly De Leon and Catherine Bernardo. Sabi ko, G. <laughs> Game na. Sabi, Wala pang ano. G. Sabi ko, G. Sabi ng manager ko, hindi, magpipitching muna. Hindi, tita G na. Game na. <laughs> <laughs> and then yun nga nag 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 pitching na and everything. Mas lalo hong, I couldn't believe na star cinema gagawa ng ganito. Ang ganon din yung reaction. Yeah, oh, okay. it's nothing like they've done before. Si Catherine gagawa ng ganito. I want to be part of that. Oh. So yeah, yun nand. Wala pang ano G na kaagad yun, eh, no? <laughs> <laughs> See, Kauri naman, also from Jimpy, the question, how is it working with such esteemed actors like Catherine and Miss Dolly? Anong i-expect namin sa'yo here coming from Love Team Projects? So, ayun na yung sinabi ko kanina, but go ahead if you want to add some more. Anong uh, una kasi, pinitch din sa akin ito nila, Sir Miko, na uh, G ka ba na gawin tong ganyan kasama sila Miss Dolly and Miss Catherine? Sabi ko, ano po yung gagawin ko? <laughs> Tapos kinuwento lang nila sa akin yung specific na gagawin ko. Ah, talaga po ba? Ano nga yung gagawin mo? Kanina pa namin tinatanong eh. Sabi ko, parang talaga po ba? Ako yung nakikita niyo. Oh, yeah. Okay, bawal. Okay, bawal daw po. Sorry. Abang, panoorin niyo na lang po para sabihin natin may experience yun. Uh, pero working with them, sobrang generous po talaga nila. Lalo ng first day ko, sobrang kinakabahan ako ng ati Kat. Uh, pero ang dami kong nakukuha mula sa kanya na energy, na emotions. So, it's all about giving talaga pagdating sa acting, hindi yung pagka hindi mo shot nga, hindi ka magbibigay. Uh -oh. Yeah. Nahawa ka na rin kayong lahat sa generosity uh -oh. when it's, it comes It's contagious. To, it's contagious. Really? Kwento ka, Jake, ano yung uh, hindi mo malilimutan dyan? Pagiging contagious ng ano generosity. Ano ay kukwento? <laughs> ng mga actors. Um, no, but especially yung um, scenes namin ni Kath. Yeah, I mean... Trust is very important. Okay. And making your, your co-actor comfortable is very important. Because once you trust each other and co are comfortable with one another, you can achieve anything. You can do anything. Jillian, what do you share mo as experience mo working with these esteemed actors? Um, I have some scenes with Ate Kath. I'm kind of hard. Okay. But... Dahil kay Ate Kath, na, na nagawa ko siya ng maayos naman, direct, di ba? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> And ramdam ko naman din kasi siya. Tapos parang medyo unsure ako noon. Tapos sabi ko kay Ate Kath, Ate, kulang ba? Or ano, anong nafe-feel mo dun sa ano, eksena? Tapos yun, may sinabi si Ate. Tapos yun, na-adjust na naman. So, thank you doon, Ate. Oh, Grabe yung misi na yun. Nakatulong kasi siyempre, kilala ko si Jill as talks. So too good to be true. Parang Congrats, Rita. And Rita. <laughs> so, uh, ang hira para sa kanila, kasi yung mga eksena nila, unlike kami ni Miss Dina, mas makakapasok ka agad sa character mo, kasi nag-shoot ka parang almost every day. Okay. So mas madali. Sila parang minsan wala, tapos bigla mag-shoot. Ah. And then sometimes you have to shoot this scene na medyo mabigat, na sobrang important sa character mo, pero oh my God, hindi pa ako nakakabuelo, kasi kami, nakailang shooting days na natuloy-tuloy, siya nag-pause. 
tapos babalik ulit. So, mahirap yun for them. So, sa mga ganong scene talaga, kailangan tulungan kayo. And then, tinanong ako ni Jill, sabi niya, okay ba yun ate? Eh, kilala ko siya eh. And alam ko kung anong kakayahan niya. Sabi ko, you know, Jill, hindi ko yun ano, isa, mag-ino ka pa. <laughs> And then, inulit namin. Tapos yun, okay na, okay na lahat. So, um, nakakatulong talaga yung honesty, siguro sa grupo. Kasi kailangan maintindihan din natin na we have our days. Kahit kami may mga days na kahit anong gawin mo, all that's talaga, wala talaga. And kailangan mo nang may tutulong sa'yo. So, If you want to give that energy, kailangan yun, balikan lang kayo. Alright. Uh, the next is from Danielle Villapando of Capex. It's for Katrin. A very good girl talks about revenge-based... Base sa... Uh, de, sorry, let me say that again. A very good girl talks about revenge based sa mga lumabas sa material. Paano ba maghigante ang character ni Philo? And paano naman si Katrin in real life? Eh, di malalaman na ng paghigantihan ko. Ah. Charot lang. Okay. <laughs> Charot lang. Um, oh, yes, it's a revenge movie, obviously. Um, Eat the Rich, and then about, um, yeah, revenge. Um, so, si Philo... Paano ko ba? Paano ba sasabihin ito? <laughs> um, um, siguro, mag-start muna ako sa common thing na gagawin ko as Kath and as Philo. Um, I would always fight for what is right and, f yeah, for what is right. Especially kapag may ibang tao nang involved at pagkatao mo na yung masyadong nababa. Pero siguro magkaiba lang yung way namin ni Philo and personally as Kath, if ever mag-revenge. Kasi una-una malayo yung pagkatao namin, malayo yung pinagdaanan namin pareho. But then, parate, nasa isip ko, okay, kung maghigante ako, maybe as si Philo, ito yung gagawin niya. Yung nakita niyo sa trailer, yun na lang muna para wala akong spoil. Pero as Kath, mas gusto ko nag-revenge quietly eh. Yeah, I don't fight, I don't shout. And you don't confront? Confront, yeah, I'm not confrontational. May mga times na ganun, but then I like to, uh, um, to do it quietly. Na parang, sige. Gawin mo lahat to put me down, but then I will work quietly here and I'll just do and mind my own thing. Tapos bahala na kayo sa sabi nyo. Yun yung kind of revenge na ako gagawin ni Kath. Na si Philo hindi ganun. Si Philo yung parang alter ego ko siguro. Kaya na-enjoy ko siya gawin kasi it's something that I wouldn't do in real life. Hopefully, yeah. Wag. <laughs> yeah, wag. Wag daw sabi na. Wag talaga. Wag. So okay na na-experience kayo na ayos. Na-experience ko to. Balik na ako kay Katrina. <laughs> yeah, That's why malaki. Malayong malayo talaga siya. Malayo. And it's very interesting kasi lahat naman tayo, kagaya ng sinabi ni Miss D, we all have our own demons. Sometimes you are our own demons. Right. But then, nasa atin yun kung paano mo yun i-handle. And pinakita lang siguro ng experience na to na, um, yes, may pagdadaanan tayo, may babato sa yung problema yung mundo. But at the end of the day, it's all up to us. How do we handle this? And do we choose to be a good person, the kind person, or do we fight back? Ang kanyang follow-up question, si Danielle Perrin from Capex, to Miss Dolly and Catherine, as two of the most successful women in the industry, playing two extremely influential characters in the film, how would you define or redefine success to all the young women out there? What is success to you? I think success is not measured by money it's not measured by position it's not measured by power success is measured by one's own sense of well-being and inner peace ang lalim no pero totoo eh totoo kasi and to to build on what kath said also i and i think this is what you were also trying to say how you handle parang kung paano ka gumante i think that the best revenge is success yes. yeah diba Just, you know, just keep doing your own thing. Let all the noise happen around you. And just be the best person that you can be. And one day, you will reap the rewards. And you will become successful. Do you know what you're doing? Nice. Kat, success. Okay na yun, no? Same na lang. Pero important, at the end of the day, you know, you can be successful, ma-achieve mo lahat ng gusto mo without stepping onto other people's shoes. So, you have, yeah, you know, kailangan, naging mabuting tao ka pa rin at the end of the day. Kasi, ang success, iba-iba naman yung definition natin yan. Pero ako, personally, 
um, success is doing something that makes me happy. Uwi ako, yes, napagod ako, na-acknowledge ko yun, yes, nainis ako, tinas yung patience ko, napikon ako today, pero ang saya ko eh. So for me, yun yung definition of being successful because I get to do the things that makes me happy. So, yeah, from the point of view of the other cast members, and yung, how do you define that, the success? Chi? Uh, success for me is... Yun nga, same as Miss Dolly. And um, success for me is your heart is in the right place. Okay. Yun for me is success. And um, seeing the people around me happy with what I have, what I have achieved also. Kasi I wouldn't be here kung hindi din naman dahil sa kanila eh. So I'm just really happy to be a part of this and I'm thankful na andito po kayong lahat. Salamat po sa support ang binibigay niyo po. And um, overwhelming feeling kasi um, yun nga yung in-offer po sa akin yung Zab nung time na yun, yung GOSI po. Hindi po talaga ako available doon sa time na yun. Si, Tinext ko si Ate Gadget, Ate Gadget, please, please, gusto ko po talaga maging part ng film na to. And um, yun, thank you po for waiting. Thank you po for being patient with me. And thank you for the trust po na binigay niyo po sa aming lahat dito. And um, salamat po again. Really thankful and grateful for this. Baka para sa'yo talaga yung role, kaya kahinintay. <laughs> Sabi nga po ni Lakas ha? Sir Lakas Nico. Lakas ni Chi, ah? <laughs> thank you po. Thank you po. Salamat po talaga. <laughs> May audience po akong nadala. Alam mo, happy ako sa'yo, Chi. Happy na ang career. Happy pa ang ano, ang buhay. Very good girl po. Ang yes! <laughs> Mamaya po sa interview after. Ay, wow. No, ang generous naman pala ni Chi. Kau, ikaw, success. How do you define it? Ah, uh, for me, Success is being contented kung, may, kung anong meron ka. Pero at the same time, nandun pa rin yung hunger na... For example, for me, matuto sa kung nasan lara, larangan man ako. Right. And nakakatuwa na nakikita sa akin yun ng management na andun pa rin yung gutom ko right. na gumaling sa kung nasan ako ngayon. Nice! Good luck, how? Jill, ikaw naman. Uh, para sa akin po, basta yun, yung sinabi ni Kawi, contentment. Okay. And... Happiness. Right. Yun, yun na mismo yun. Pag na-achieve ko na yung happiness at contentment, masasabi kong successful ako sa buhay ko. Nice. Jake, ikaw? Uh, for me, I guess it's kind of similar sa answer ni Chi. Uh, nothing would make me feel um, more successful than my parents being proud of me. And my daughter, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eh, di ba nag-joke kayo ng daughter mo na hindi niya pinapanood yung projects mo? <laughs> number one basher ko yun. Di ba? Eh. Number one basher mo yung daughter mo eh. Mapapanood niya ba ito, Derek? Parang hindi pa, no? <laughs> She'll have to wait. <laughs> di ba parang, napanood ba yung trailer? Parang ayaw niya, bored siya or something. Number one basher, pero siya lang yung may right na mag-basha. <laughs> yeah, yan, yan. Okay. From Natalie Tomada, Philippine star Natalie. Ang question niya is for direct uh, Peterson. We were told the interest and viewers for the trailers were unprecedented for a star cinema film. What's your reaction to that and what are your expectations for the film? <laughs> well, expectations for the film. Uh, for me, siguro parang, and it's, I, I think I speak on behalf that na rin na parang marami mga uh, film workers, film directors, producers na syempre coming off from the pandemic, di ba parang andito pa rin kami, we still want to tell stories on the big screen. Uh, tumataya kami. Parang we're, we're trying our best to to risk, di ba? To make big creative risks. Uh, as with Star, as with other productions, other filmmaker friends put, uh, putting their stuff out there. Third World Romance, for example, still showing by my good friend Dwayne uh, and those other kinds of films. So parang for me, it matters so much na ma-feel ma namin yung support ng Filipino audiences as well. Kasi in a way, we also think about them. Uh, parang sila din naman yung gusto namin manood nito. Uh, so, so yun. Parang sana, parang we're very happy. We appreciate the excitement. Kasi happy kami na na-feel namin yun. Na-feel namin na excited sila sa ginawa namin, sa ginawa nila Miss Dian, sila Kat, and everyone else. Uh, and sana ma-push through yung excitement with our film, 
maging, maging success siya when it comes out. And of course, all the succeeding films pa from Star Cinema with a very good, uh, promising slate. Uh, uh, and daming exciting things to come. So for us, parang we're here, we're, we're, we have these stories that are so exciting and worth your time. Uh, sana pumunta kayo sa sinehan. <laughs> Nung lumabas, yung official trailer, sabay-sabay niyo bang pinanood? Or... Oh, paano? Kami ni Kat, okay, sabay okay, namin okay. pinanood. Anong, ano, anong... Kasi kinukulit namin, I'm Rizzy K, ano, nag-shoot kami for something ni Miss D, out of town. And then, sabi ko kay Kaya, Kaya, ano na, may trailer na ba? <laughs> Tapos sabi niya, wala, wala, ay naayos. Tapos ko, pakita mo na, yung trailer, I want to <laughs> Alam mo, meron na. eh. Tapos kahit doon pagkatapos, okay, eto na yung trailer, papakita hey! namin sa inyo. So, kami so sabay kayo nanood in, yeah, on the phone. Yeah, sabay kami ni Ms. D. So, okay. teaser, sabay kami ni Ms. D. And then trailer, so, sabay din namin na panood ni Ms. D. And then, yung poster. Poster, yes, yeah, sabay also yung poster. Speaking of the poster, yan ang ating mamayang surprise. Right over here sa ating satellite stage, i-reveal natin yung official poster ng movie live sa TV Patrol. Mamaya, in a few minutes. So, uh, We'll wait for that. In the meantime, another question from Natalie for Catherine. How is Dali De Leon as a co-star and a favorite scene with, what's your favorite scene with her? If you can share without spoiling. Ano ang mga naging bonding moments nyo to develop the uh, mother-daughter dynamic? <laughs> Meron pa kayo ginagawa sa set? Like kumakain ba kayo or? Lagi niya akong pinapadala ng food. Lagi niya akong pinapakain kasi gusto niya tumaba ako eh. Gusto niya siya lang yung sexy. <laughs> Charot. Snatch ang cheeks. <laughs> Oo, snatch ang cheeks. Um, favorite scene with Miss D? Oh my God, ano ba dito? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kaya niya yan. Kaya niya yan today. Ang hirap naman papiliyan. Sa so dami, ang, no? Sa so dami. Aswa ang dami din kasi namin hindi pwedeng sabihin. But then... Um, nasa trailer ba siya? O wala? Parang nasa trailer, di ba? Oh, Pero di siguro yung, yung pinaka-fun na lang. Okay, parang nasa trailer. Yung lahat ng pag-usapan natin nakita nyo sa trailer. Yung nag-float kami sa swimming pool ni Miss D. Oh, it's my favorite. Ang oh, maganda yung scene na yun. Oh my gosh, favorite yes. Favorite ka talaga yan. Yeah, ang ganda kasi una, kahit mabigat yung gown namin, kung alam nyo lang yung mga taong tumulong pa lang, lumutang kami. <laughs> kasi ah! nakagown kami, ba? Diba? Okay. So, paano ka magpo-float na kagown? Tama. So, parang tawa na lang kami namin. Sino ba itong ginagawa? May floaters kami. <laughs> ano, ano, pagpapadyak na yung ginagawa For passion. <laughs> nasa script ba yun? Passion. Jumbo, Dan, nasa script ba yun? Uh, Okay, okay, okay. So, the whole time doing that, eh, medyo malamig kasi. <laughs> Tapos, anong oras na din yun? So, kailangan namin matapos kasi may cut-off din yung bahay. Tapos kami na Miss D, lamig na lamig na talaga. But then, ang saya ng buong experience. Um, yung team nandyan, dinadamayan kami sa lamig. Tapos kami na Miss D, bawal kami umihe kasi nakagaon kami pareho. Tapos, huwag kayo ihe sa pool ha, don't be ha. Pigil lang natin ha, sabay tayo. So, yung kakatawagan yan. So, yeah, maganda yung scene yan. Personally, sa trailer, yan yung favorite ko. And then yung iba, Usap na lang tayo pag napanood nila. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Dolly naman, what's your favorite scene? My favorite scene, actually, wala siya sa trailer eh. So, hindi ko siya pwedeng ikwento. Pero, um, let me just say na parang ito yung eksena kung saan yung characters namin ay totoong nagtuos. Yun yung favorite scene ko. Wala siya sa trailer. Oh, so parang confrontation na. Ito na yung... Hindi, ano. I wouldn't call it a confrontation. It's, this is not that kind of film na it has the usual tropes. That's right. Ng pelikula. Hindi, hindi rin siya confrontation eh. Um, basta, it's a scene where... Um, wow, ang hirap, ang hirap. Teka muna. <laughs> um, basta, it's a scene that I really enjoyed doing with Kath because it, I felt like it... it she really helped me with it while we were doing it. Tapos, um, nandun na kasi ako dun sa point na feeling ko ako, parang intin intinding, intinding, intindi ko na si mother, si Molly, Molly Suzara. Oh. At that point. At intinding, intinding, intindi ko na kung sino si Philo. So, parang feeling ko buong, buong, buo na kami. Kaya gustong gusto ko yung eksenang yun. Kung baga hinug na hinug na kayo dun parang sa character ganun, nyo, yes. no? Nice! Okay. Okay.